In today's episode, you will learn how to use a 5kg load cell with HX711 and Arduino Uno Omega. In this tutorial, you will also learn how to calibrate your load cell or strain gauge, circuit diagram, soldering, programming and practical implementation. Few months back, I posted a tutorial covering the basics of HX711 and load cell or strain gauge. If you want to learn the basics, then you should watch this tutorial. The link is given in the description. So let's get started. The components that we will be needing for this project are number one, Arduino Uno Omega. But I'll be using Arduino. The same program will also work with Mega. As you know my friends, any program which is written for Arduino can also be run on Mega. But except the projects which make use of SPI bus as in Arduino and Mega, the SPI pins are different. But in this project, we are not using SPI bus. Number 2. HX711 The HX711 is a 24-bit analog to digital converter ADC, which has an amplifier, which gives maximum gain of 128 as per the data sheet. As you can see on the right side, we have ground, DT, SCK and VCC while on the left side we have E plus, E minus, A minus, A plus, B minus and B plus. The load cell will be connected with E plus, E minus, A minus and A plus. Ground will be connected with Arduino's ground. DT will be connected with pin 3, SCK with pin number 2 and VCC with 5 volt. These are the male headers which will be soldered with the breakout board. Then using male to female type jumper wires, we can easily connect this with Arduino. Number 3, 5 kg load cell. As you can see, it has 4 wires, red, black, green and white. These components can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. The connections are really easy as you can see the load cell red wire is connected with the HX711E plus pin. Black wire of the load cell is connected with E minus. White wire is connected with A minus and green wire is connected with A plus. While the HX711 breakout board ground is connected with the Arduino's ground, DT is connected with pin 3, SCK is connected with pin 2 and VCC is connected with 5 volt. Now let's do the soldering. First of all apply some solder to the E plus, E minus, a minus, A plus, B minus and B plus holes so that we can easily solder the load cell wires. Now solder the male headers on the right side of the HX711 breakout board. As you can see the male headers are soldered. Now let's solder the load cell with the HX711 as for the circuit connections as explained. We are done with the soldering and now let's do the interfacing. Connect a red wire with the VCC pin of the HX711. Connect a green wire with the SCK. Connect a white wire with DT. And finally connect a black wire with the ground. While fixing the load cell, make sure the arrow points downward. I'm just temporarily fixing this on hardboard to check my programming and connections. After I am satisfied with the result, then I can properly fix this on some nice metal base. The load cell is fixed and now let's do the interfacing. So now as you can see the red wire is connected with 5 volt, black wire is connected with ground, green wire is connected with pin 2 and white wire is connected with pin 3. Now let's discuss the programming. Before you start the programming, first of all make sure that you use the latest version of the Arduino IDE and also make sure that you download the HX711 library. After downloading the library, then simply copy and paste it into the Arduino's library folder. The HX711 library download link is given in the description. Hash include hx711.h Hash include means that this is a preprocessor directive and dot h means that it, this is a header file. 
H define D out 3. The DT pin of the HX711 is connected with pin 3. H define CLK2. SCK pin is connected with pin 2 of Arduino. Float weight. Weight is a variable of the type float and this will be used to store the value coming from the load cell. Float calibration factor is equal to 419640. For me this value works just perfect. I will tell you how to set this value when we will be doing the practical testing. As you know my friends, every Arduino and Mega program has at least two functions which are the wide setup and wide loop functions. Wide means that this function is not returning any value and the empty parentheses means that this function is not taking any arguments as the input. Serial dot begin 9600 activates the serial communication at the baud rate of 9600. Then we send some messages to the serial monitor. Reset the scale to zero. Get a baseline reading. Then starts a while loop function. Adjust to this uh, calibration factor. We read five values and take the average and then store that value and variable weight. And then we use this instruction to send value to serial monitor. And you can use the plus and minus to increase and decrease the calibration factor value. I have already uploaded this program now let's watch this project in action and I will also show you how to set the calibration factor value. Connect Arduino with a laptop. Open the serial monitor. As you can see currently the value is uh, 0, 0.00 kg this is a 1 kg weight let's measure its weight As you can see, it successfully measured the 1 kg weight. Now let's measure the 3 kg weight. Now let me show you how to set the calibration factor value and what happens when we change this value. Change the value and upload the program. Now again let's use this 1 kg weight. This time you can see it gives me a wrong reading. This is how this value affects the reading. You will have to manually find out this value through testing. Let's set this value back to 41 and upload this. So keep changing this value until you are satisfied with the result. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.